Hey guys, this is Mickey from CoinOpNewYork.com and Mickey's Antique Amusements on Facebook. And I am down in McAllen, Texas, auctioning off over 75 vintage jukeboxes. Smitty, the old jukebox operator, has sold his business and the new owner hired me to auction off all his old inventory. These machines have been sitting a very long time. At one time, they were all out on location, collecting nickels and dimes and quarters, people falling in love, dancing, fighting, bar brawling, you name it. These jukeboxes got lots of stories. So this is another one of those jukeboxes. Uh, what we do, are doing with these are we are unplugging the amplifiers so we don't ruin them. They've been sitting a long time. You're buying non-working jukeboxes. They're being sold as is where they're at. Some are missing parts. They're project machines. So be aware of that. And like I said, we have over 75 vintage jukeboxes coming up for sale. If you're interested in a jukebox, give me a call. My name's Mickey. I'm located in Rochester, New York. My number is 585-747-0605. I've been doing jukeboxes since uh, 2000, or, I'm sorry, 1999, and I've shipped over 800 of them. These jukeboxes will go shipping through STI, Precision, North American Van Lines, blanket wrap service right to your door, and they come insured for physical damage. So if you're interested in a jukebox and you buy two, you get two for one shipping. Most places, shipping's anywhere from $350 to $400 to $450, depending on your location. So now that that's said and you understand what we're trying to do here, all jukeboxes, again, will ship from McAllen, Texas, which is... Uh, down south of San Antonio. So what we're looking at is a 1938-39 Wolitzer 500 jukebox. This has got missing parts in it. It's got a pretty decent cabinet. The cabinet is solid and strong. Uh, we're going to come in close here. First of all, it's missing all the coin gear. You can see right there, the coin slides are gone. There's the keyboard. Chrome is pretty good on it. We're going to open the inside real quick here. Oh, by the way, this, this part right here is plastic. It's not glass. It's supposed to be plastic. There's where your coins should have gone in right there. As you can see, the stack. There is the tone arm. I'm not answering my cell phone. It is ringing, but keep watching my video, guys. We are here to work, not answer phones. <laughs> As you can see, I've got a pinball uh, ringtone, typical for a guy that loves coin op. Anyways, anyways, there's the uh, Cobra tone arm. It's a black one. Okay, there's the uh, insides. Here's the front part. You get a good look at that. All right. Good thing about this machine is the plastics are nice. This might make a great machine. Combine it with another one, you might make a really nice Wolitzer 500. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the plastics a little more. Nice. Okay, there's a little bit right on the edge there. That might be dirt though. That's not plastic. This is. That's more like wood. But I could be wrong about that. Alright, let's look at this plastic. Okay, now we're going to look at the sides of the jukebox. I have a friend here helping me out. We're going to turn the jukebox on its side. You can look at the very top of the jukebox there. It's got to be James calling. Let's go ahead and look at the right side of the jukebox. I'm sorry, the left side. There we go. Okay, there you go. All right, now we're going to look at the back side. Just so you know, we do have a full back door for it, so there's no issues there. There it is, right there. There's the big back door. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got the Wolitzer Junction Box right here. That's the control unit. We got a maybe original speaker. Man, it's a big speaker, 15, 18 inches. I mean, it's big. There's an amplifier that is unplugged. 
we don't have these plugged in. We're not plugging in any amplifiers. And there is animation in there, but it's not spinning. There are tubes in there. There's one over there with the motors. Okay, wow, that's a good sign. That is a good sign. There's a counter over here with the mechanism. And the mechanism looks pretty good. Motors and everything. This is a solid project. If you're interested in refurbishing or restoring a Wolitzer 500, we're going to flip the jukebox around. This is, might be the one for you. I mean, it's uh, it's not too bad. The cabinet, I would sand down and restain. It's got good plastics. It's got the animation, got the mechanism, the amplifier. You're just going to have to come up with the coin mechs. So, not too shabby. All right, well, this is Mickey from CoinOpNewYork.com and Mickey's Antique Amusements. Go to my website, check it out, see what my restorations, my refurbishments, see what I do. Check out my auction services. CoinOpNY.com. Thanks for watching.